Mike's Daily Podcast. 1,165. Hello, it's Mike Matthews broadcasting from Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcastro Valley, Mont. And the last place on earth today, we hear from Madame Rutabaga, Valentino Bison Bentley, plus the return of the fascinating segment called Matthews News, where we'll find out something fascinating, um, mesmerizing. Mike's. Daily podcast. Uh, whatever. <sighs> well, Mike's Daily Podcast. I spoke about a band called the Manic Street Preachers yesterday. Did you go and listen to them and find out how awesome, like I say, they are? There's, there's a light bulb in Livermore that never burns out. It's true. I've never been there before, but it, it's an amazing thing. Mike's Daily Podcast. A light bulb in a fire station that has not burned out in over 100 years. It's true. Mike's Manic Street Preachers. Daily They're awesome. Podcast. I'd like to make a redaction yeah. about weekend dog walkers. I was talking about weekend dog walkers and how they... You know, sometimes these people that walk their dogs only on the weekend, they are, well, if they are walking their dog on the weekend, it sometimes means that they have, they don't walk their dog at all during the week. And I just wanted to say I'm wrong. I'm wrong, wrong, wrong. Because I met some dog, the, the whole, the two people that I met that inspired that whole rant, that one show, I was wrong. I saw them again the very next day after I'd done the, that podcast rant. And I, I talked to them, and it turned out that the lady was the mom of the owner of the dog. And the, the, the girl, the daughter, was in Hawaii. Everybody decided to go to Hawaii in August. Someone at work went there as well. Speaking of work, oh my gosh! So, we had this issue, you may remember, on a previous podcast or two, where there was a homeless guy living in the bathroom. Hey, I don't care if you're homeless or home full. Wait, is that the opposite of homeless, home full? You're full of home? Look who just walked in. Hello, Michael Master. It's my daughter, Ruda Vega. This show is very interesting today. Very interesting. Thank you. Yeah, it's sort of it's sort of coming together in a way that when you throw a bunch of puzzle pieces in the air and they fall on the ground, it comes together. A skew. That's what happened was, madam, was uh, this lady's daughter was in Hawaii. Wait, we're on a different topic. Michael Master, you're on a different topic. That's right, about the homeless guy in the bathroom. He came back. He came. He was in there yesterday, apparently. It stunk the high heaven in there. Wow. And he, it, well, he was gone by the time we went in there, but jeez. And, and, and since the problem began, oh, look who else just walked in. They've locked the doors. They've got, you need a special pass to get in the front doors now uh, in the morning. And... You have to have a key to get into the bathroom. Somehow he circumvented all that. Circumnavigate was the name of a show I did recently. Hey, I sound a lot like this guy now. Like you're up right now. Well, he said right now when I said right now. That was weird. Ah, and that timed out perfectly. Wow. Oh my God, no way. Hey, what... Some of the show has to do with timing, which I have nothing going on. No timing today. I'm a little timeless. I'm timeless? Is that the opposite of time? Hey, there's a girl named Jessie Graff. She's an amazing woman that I would not want to meet in a dark alley. Actually, she's really pretty. I would kind of accept the fact that she is a Supergirl stunt woman and she made American Ninja history on Monday when she became the first woman to complete a stage one. Oh, my article just ended. She took on the Mount 
Midiorama course along with the top competitors from the qualifying rounds which takes place in several cities across the world. She plays second third, top speed qualify. Anyway, let's I guess cafe anyway. I guess I should probably click on one of these to find out the rest of the story. Anyway. Anyway. Um okay. Uh, she uh, totally dominated the treacherous and extremely challenging course. She seriously impressed fans and even the announcers by successfully completing obstacles, including the giant log grip, the propeller bar, jumping spider, and warped wall. She was wearing a Green Lantern two-piece outfit. That's interesting because I saw a guy wearing a Green Lantern t-shirt yesterday. A hipster type. And... And I thought to myself, I'm not a fan. The The movie they made bombed. They're trying to bring him back for something else. I just, it's sort of a weird superhero. He's got a ring that's super magical that these aliens made. And he's here, an American fi- former fighter jet flyer guy. And now he's got the superpower. He can basically do anything. And, but everything that he makes with the ring, like, it, it's green. Yeah. No, I don't... Anyway, uh, she... Cafe, anyway. Anyway. Uh, two minutes and 20 seconds to complete the course. And she hit the buzzer with 12.39 seconds to spare. She came in fourth of the eighth finishers. Um, well... She made history by... Uh, some, for some reason, oh. Why can't, there's nothing in this article that tells me exactly why she made history. Because her name is Jesse? I don't, what? I would like to thank the online news for completely confusing Mike Matthews today. And thank you for listening to the podcast. You can support the podcast by going to Amazon. The Amazon links are there at mikesdailypodcast.com. And there's also... Did you know Katie Couric has a podcast now? That's weird. It makes... It almost legitimizes podcasts. This one needs as much legitimizing as possible. It needs some other amazing to it. Oh, it needs to be thrown in the shredder. Well, what we're going to do then is tell you also about the wonderful uh, thing called the podcast picture. We're just throwing the show in the shredder right now. The podcast picture today. And here's today's podcast picture. Is a drawing of Madame Rudebeg and I. We have a discussion. That's right, Michael Moss. We had a wonderful talk. About something. Yes. What that is, I have no idea. But we will discover that if you go to the podcast picture at mikesdailypodcast.com. All the past podcast pictures are there, as well as the PayPal. You'll get a special greeting from all the Cafe Anyway characters if you use that for some nice thing. Okay, here's the segment. Matthew's News. Now that's legit. As I continue on my clueless quest in this world, it turned out that I didn't know who Colin Kaepernick was. I had the television on with the sound off and I kept seeing anthem controversy. And I was like, what's the anthem controversy? Is there something about the medical company anthem, the medical insurance that I hate? That their website's ridiculous, but Colin Kaepernick's protest of the national anthem is apparently winning support first from some military veterans on Twitter. The San Francisco 49ers quarterback sparked controversy during the NFL's preseason, and this isn't even the real season, it's the preseason. So I don't really know anything about sports. Uh, there was someone recording a show and he likes to stand up when he records the show and a guy I work with walked in and said, hey, so that guy likes to stand up whereas Kaepernick will only sit down. 
And I'm like, what? I didn't know what he was talking about, but no. He's like, Kaepernick, the, the quarterback for the 49ers. And I said, oh, that's a good way to get out of something where you're just, you would otherwise be completely embarrassed. You didn't know. Just do the, uh, oh, and it, everything is forgiven. Kaepernick says he's protesting what he describes as oppression of minorities in the U.S. Some who have criticized the protest said it was insulting to veterans. But some people who identify themselves as veterans have tweeted pictures of themselves in uniform and messages of support under the hashtag Veterans for Kaepernick. Kaepernick is K-A-E, by the way. Kaepernick. K-A-E. I think we need more AE combinations together in this world. If you are an AE, or what would be called a uh, account executive, thanks for listening to the show. One, one of the people said that he served to protect freedoms, not a song. Another says protesting is every American's right. Kaepernick says he will continue his protest ahead of tomorrow's preseason game in San Diego. As we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike's daily podcast somewhere in Podcaster Valley. I wonder how many people um, are actually caring about this story the rest of the country. This seems like more of a San Francisco story, but... Well, I woke up this morning and realized it's tough. And I 